Hello students, welcome to Agyal Language Schools and we will start English World Primary 4, Second Term, Unit 7, People of the World, People of the World. We will talk about four groups of people. Let's see, the Sami people, the Sami people, the Tibetan people, the Tibetan people, the Bedouin people, the Bedouin people, the Quechua people, the Quechua people. Let's go to student book, page 74, and know more and more about these groups. People of the world. All the customs in the modern world. Okay, three minutes. To read this page and then we will listen and discuss. Okay? Let's listen. Let's listen. Pupils Book, Unit 7, page 74. Reading. Old Customs in the Modern World People live in all parts of the world. Most people live in towns and cities. But other people live hundreds of kilometers from the nearest city. They live on high mountains. They live in hot deserts and in snowy forests. They keep animals for food. They make their clothes and homes. They are different to people who live in large towns and cities because they do not need lots of shops, cars and lorries. They do not use much electricity or water. Weavers of South America The Incas lived in Peru in South America. Five hundred years ago, they were very rich and powerful. They had many large cities, and they were good fighters. They had gold, silver, and jewels. They kept many animals, and they had good food and clothes. Then explorers from Spain came. They fought the Incas and captured their king. After that, the Spanish ruled over the Incas. The Incas spoke the Quechua language. Quechua people are still living in Peru today. They keep sheep and goats in the mountains. They get wool from the animals. They spin the wool and weave it into cloth. They make patterns in the cloth. The patterns are like the old Inca patterns. Each village has special patterns. Children learn the patterns. They weave thin ribbons. Women carry their babies or fruit and vegetables in the cloth. Men carry firewood and corn. Who can tell me where did the Incas live? They lived in Peru, in South America. Okay? Uh, who can tell me about their language? The name of their language? The name of their language is the Quechua language. The Quechua language. What, what do they do to live? They keep sheep and goats in the mountains. They get they get wool from the animals, they spin the wool and weave it into cloth. Okay? Please turn the page and three minutes to read and then we will listen. Okay, are you ready for listening? Herdsmen of Northern Europe The Sami people live in Northern Europe. It is very cold in winter, and there is always a lot of snow on the ground. Some Sami people are nomads. That means they travel from one place to another. They keep big herds of reindeer. They live in tents, and when the reindeer need new grass, they pack up their tents and move on. 
farmers of Tibet. The Tibetan people live near the highest mountain in the world. Some Tibetans are nomads. They keep sheep and goats. Tibetan farmers use yaks on their farms. The yaks pull carts and plows. Yaks are strong animals. Tibetans enjoy plays with music and dance. The actors wear amazing costumes and masks. Travelers in the desert. The Bedouin people live in hot places. Some Bedouin travel through the desert. Like the Sami people, they keep animals and live in tents. When they move the animals, they can take their tents with them. They hunt with falcons, so their families have more food. Nowadays, not many Bedouin live in the desert all the time. Many of them live in houses in towns and villages, but they still fly falcons in the desert. Falcons catch other birds. Falcons are beautiful birds with sharp beaks and watchful eyes. Klaus, who can tell me where do the Sami people live? Where do they live? They live in the north. They live in northern Europe. Who can describe the weather in this place? It's very cold in winter with a lot of snow on the ground. Uh, so, sometimes we call Sami people nomads. Sometimes we call the Sami people nomads. Why? Because they travel from one place to another. They keep big herds of reindeer. They live in tents. Okay? The Tibetan people. Where can the Tibetan people live? They live near the highest mountains in the world. They also they are also nomads. They move from one place to another. We call the Pedouin people travelers. Uh, where can they live? They live in hot places. They live in hot places. They, they also keep animals and live in tents. And they, uh, they move from one place to another with their animals. Okay? Turn the page to answer some questions. Exercise 1. Complete the sentences. 500 years ago, the Incas were very, huh, were very rich and powerful. Let's try it. We will change the color. Okay. And powerful. Okay. Number two. The Incas spoke the Quechua language. It's right. Okay, number three, the Quechua people space the wall and weave it into clothes. They do what? Spin. That's right. Number four, they make space in the clothes. They make what? Patterns. Excellent. Number five. Some Sami people are nomads. Uh, 
Number six, the Tibetan people live near the highest space in the world. They live near the highest mountain. Bravo. It's right. Number seven, some Bedouin people travel through the desert. Bravo. The last one. Number eight, falcons are beautiful birds with sharp beaks and watchful eyes. That's right. Okay. Let's see exercise number two. Exercise number two. Talk about the answers to these questions. Some people live hundreds of kilometers from the nearest city. They, number one, they do not need lots of shops, cars, and lorries. Why not? Number two, these people do not use much electricity or water. Why not? Form a group with your friends and discuss these questions okay exercise number three write the words next to the definition the correct definition let's read these words powerful explorer watchful village spain capture haunt electricity number one strong what do we mean by strong Powerful. Powerful. It's correct. Okay. And then cross out the word powerful. Okay. Number two. Power that travels along wires and make lights and machines work. What is this? Electricity. Electricity. Yes, we still have one letter here. Yes, electricity. Okay, let's cross out the word electricity. Okay. Number three, seeing everything that is happening. Oh, watchful. Okay. Cross out this word. Number four. To follow and catch. To follow and catch. This means to hunt. Number five. Person who travels and looks at new places. Explorer. Oh, we, for, we forget to cross out haunt and explorer. Number six, a small group of houses, village. Okay, number seven, to turn or twist round and round. 
spin. Number eight, to catch and hold onto. Capture. Close them out. Finish. Spin. Capture. Homework for next class, inshallah. Workbook page 62. Thank you and see you next class, inshallah. Goodbye.